Hey there, everybody. Happy Monday. You are on Mama Monday. I am just a few minutes past 9.30. I was over on Insta and I need a watch right here. <laughs> Lost track of time on that convo. And so here I am a few minutes late, forgive me. We are hopping on here Monday, November the 19th, 2018, the Thanksgiving week almost to the end of the year. And so glad you're here. Really good to see you. So we are going to hop on our topic, if you saw it there, how to manage the holidays, hormones, and hoopla. Ultimately, skipping the stress of what's going on. So now, one of the things I want to start out with that's really important is that I am talking about something that I need myself, okay? And that's actually one of the main motivations I've had to do Mama Monday. It's something different for me. And I do do lots of presentations and videos for my business group. And that's an amazing community of lots of um, health, nut, crazy, oily people. Um, amazing people in a wonderful, um, wonderful little spot of major learner researcher type people. Um, but hopping out here on regular Facebook world is a new thing for me. And so basically I want to say right up front, what I get to talk about is basically a lot of things that I need to work on myself or, um, possibly uh, something that other people have asked me a lot since I have um, done this mom gig, okay? So that's why we're, we're doing Mama Monday, okay? So my name is Jennifer, if you don't know already. I am the mom of 13. I am a wife. I am a, a business owner, part-time-ish, and um, have a husband who is an amazing pastor, and we... Um, do this thing together called life. So just want to encourage and help anybody we can and um, talk a lot about practice, not perfection. You'll hear me say that a lot and hashtag I'm just a mom. Okay. I'll talk about some health stuff tonight. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but not a doctor. Don't play a doctor on TV. Um, but I am a very, very crunchy girl and, um, so that means we're always learning something and always want to do something better if possible, okay? So anyway, managing holidays, hormones, and the hoopla, skipping the stress. How do we do that? So first rattle out of the box that I love to talk about is why. Why do we do this to ourselves, okay? Why do we have two most major holidays of the entire year within four weeks of each other? Um, no one can answer that question for me. <laughs> um, obviously, it boils down to what we do it, what we do as individuals when it comes to those holidays. Of course, some people don't have the same um, belief system and they celebrate things differently or some things they do, some things they don't. Um, but all that said, why do we do this to ourselves? Um, why do we decide, hey, I really want to go hang out with um, a certain group of people that all the rest of the year <laughs> I don't want to go hang out with? It's That's kind of a joke. I'm sure you love hanging around your family. But, and I do too, I'm just saying um, sometimes that's not the case and it's just kind of, if you look at it in a comedic sense, it is pretty funny. We do kind of put ourselves through the ringer this last four or five weeks of the year. So I have this cool little to-do list. Again, it's for me, um, just sharing it along with talking to myself um, as I get to share with you, okay? So let's hop on that quickly. So number one, getting through this last few weeks of the year. Um, and this is a physical thing, okay? Some things that we're gonna, gonna talk about are physical, some are spiritual, some are emotional, okay? So a physical thing. Something called supplementation. If you don't know what that is, it basically means adding nutrient-dense substances to your already, hopefully, nutrient-dense diet, okay? And I say that because you can't really survive on supplements. They're just what that name implies. They're supposed to supplement a really good nutrient-dense diet, okay? 
Um, I'm going to tell you my favorite supplement in the entire world. If you don't know what it is, you can private message me. You can contact me um, through Facebook. But it is the hands down super most amazing best supplement I've ever used. I think it was critical. First example I'll give you tonight. When I carried a pregnancy at 45 with my latest little baby, my 13th little one, I had a really good pregnancy, guys. Not perfect, nothing's perfect, but great. And and um, I had energy, I wasn't taking naps. I did occasionally, but I really didn't that often. 45, um, also um, basically used it as a prenatal, okay? It's very um, nutrient dense. Um, I would call it a rich supplement, okay? It's in a liquid form, it's called Ningxia Red. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, kind of a cool name. Um, I think that my little 13th baby is a really good witness of that. I actually need to do a few more videos of her so you can see her. She started crawling at six months old, okay? 13th baby, I've never had a baby crawl at, thir uh, excuse me, at six months old. She does things that are interesting. They're good interesting, but they're interesting. Of course, her name's Galilee, and this is a whole nother side conversation, but we kind of named her after Wonder Woman. Um, we were setting ourselves up to be teased about that, but we did it anyway. Um, and that woman who played Wonder Woman is named Gal Gadat. And so, really beautiful, sweet lady from Israel. So, the joke is that she's a little wonder girl. She is strong. She is doing stuff way ahead of time. She pulled up tonight um, and she literally just turned seven months old. I don't, I haven't ever seen that. Um, it's in all of my kids. I, I am really, really shocked. Anyway, all that to say, favor, favorite supplement. That sounded Western Oklahoman. Um, especially getting through this last six weeks of the year, okay? Through all the physical yuck, through the holiday stress stuff. Of course, we're going to talk about making a plan so it's not stressful. Um, I can't recommend that highly enough, okay? Um, it's macronutrients made from a wolfberry and um, highest OREC score in the planet, okay? Really, really good stuff. It's from a region in China where they regularly have centenarians walking around, Okay, just walking around, um, not not walking around, but I mean participating in life, going upstairs, walking, hanging out with their families. Okay, so anyway, that's the first one. Um, second one is something called Thieves. That is another oil thing, if you haven't heard of it. Um, there's a story behind why this particular set of essential oils is called Thieves. Um, it has turned into somewhat of a legend, but there's some um, research that has uh, verified um, the happenings of the thieves in the Middle Ages. They were apparently, the supplement being named after this group of thieves, um, whoever they were, um, apparently were a band of gypsy type people. Um, they were using tinctures of certain herbs, in this case with thieves, um, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, um, cinnamon and um, rosemary, and they were stealing <laughs> stuff from people that were dying of the Black Plague, but they weren't dying of the Black Plague. And so, consequently, um, as the story goes, I guess they probably got caught. I don't know. <laughs> but the point of the matter was that they weren't getting sick from the Black Plague. And so um, apparently those they interacted with said, hey, what is going on? What are you doing? So anyway, that's where we get the term thieves. You can Google that too. Um, I have on my um, little bullet point here, thieves, all the things, okay? And um, when I say thieves, all the things, I mean spray the cart when you go in for your groceries and spray phones. And I just kind of think, wow, what level of dirtiness are our cell phones? Ugh. I mean, you can't freak out about everything in the world, but that probably is a pretty dirty thing. Um, thieves for that, thieves for toothpaste, thieves for laundry soap. You can just go all the way down the line, okay? Very, very, very good supplement and... Um, one that I do not want to ever be without, okay? Um, third thing, remember we're talking about getting through the last few weeks of the year. If you're just joining us, we're talking about 
managing holiday hormone and hoopla stuff, uh, skipping the stress, doing that the last six weeks of the year, okay? Um, this next one, Digize and Enzymes. So Digize is another essential oil that's not all of what we're gonna talk about tonight, it's just one other one. Um, basically, just to say, you have to do a little extra gut care. And what does gut care mean and why is that important? Well, if we're in Western Hemisphere, we're not really, really good at dealing with our guts and taking care of them, okay? Well, why is that important? Again, just a mom, okay? Um, this is kind of my own personal nerdy research and stuff I do on my family, okay? Because I have a big tribe here to keep healthy. Your gut's basically second brain, okay? Um, your gut is the facilitator of you eliminating everything you're supposed to eliminate as it goes through your body, stuff that's not supposed to be there and the stuff that you may encounter in your environment that doesn't need to stay there. And when that thing gets sluggish, doesn't work right, there's lots of different things that can go wrong with it, but one of the main things that help it um, are keeping it healthier with probiotics, good bacteria levels, um, and those things can be facilitated also by healthy enzymatic level. So um, things like digest and enzymes are really important, especially when you get into the holiday eating mindset, which we're gonna talk a little bit more about in just a minute. Um, that helps your gut recover, okay? Um, Something like Digize, um, I actually use Sunday before, I'm sure everybody here had some kind of Thanksgiving thingy for your church on Sunday. Um, and I, I did that before and I've never done that um, in the past and it really was great, it really, really helped. Again, that's a blend of essential oils. Enzymes you can supplement, um, you can get off Amazon, lots of good ones out there. Um, or you can get some that have oils in them too. So all that to say, you wanna take care of your gut and we'll talk about the food that helps do that in a minute here. Um, let's see, getting onto something else that's pretty important, sleep, okay? Um, if you're a mama, and this is Mama Monday, as I mentioned from the beginning, if you're a mama, you just have a pretty big ability to kind of incur the grace of God Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. It's a hard time when you're the mama. And uh, I, I'm obviously at the end of that season, but I am still occasionally up. I also tend to do some of my office work for my uh, business team towards the end of the evening and into the early, sometimes around midnight-ish. Um, I didn't always do that, and maybe you all can chime in or tell me or write a comment or something, but for some weird reason, um, I seem to be doing better staying up later. Um, of course, conversely, <laughs> my husband's going to bed earlier, so I don't know how that fits. But anyway, I've definitely had some grace for it, and I know that's how it works. And I know, ultimately, however, we need good sleep, okay? I have some children that they need eight to 10 hours of sleep, and I have some that they really, really don't. It doesn't seem to affect them as much. So ultimately, um, you know that um, lack of sleep is somewhat of a torture tactic in um, situations where you know someone would be imprisoned, um, and so obviously the sleep factor is huge. Okay, um, and I'm going to say this um, often, and I do throughout my Mama Mondays because it's true. But the Bible's smarter than science; it's ahead of science. But it's so fun when it um, is confirmed by science. Um, there's a scripture that says He gives His beloved sweet sleep. Okay, so that's one of the things I teach our kids that they wanna say all the time, Lord, thank you for sweet sleep. It's super important. And we're getting this last six weeks, even more so, right? Um, you have to get a little extra before you hit December 24th, especially if you have a big crew, right? Okay, next one is the whole food thing. Okay, so we have 45 million parties to go to, some of you. Um, this is one of those classic places where if you don't, let's see, how do we say it? We fail to plan? Um, no. If we are not wanting to, however we say that, now I'm blanking on it. We need a plan. <laughs> we don't want to fail to plan or we can plan to fail. There we go. Um, that's super important on the food side. And I just want to be honest. Um, my family, my parents, my sisters might be on here, and they would they would agree with this. When I was a little kid and it was holiday time, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to eat all my grandma's homemade bread, um, the ham, and sugar, the dessert. That's pretty much all I ate. 
<laughs> I didn't even really like the turkey that much, and the turkey is the super healthy part, right? Um, that is the stuff I liked the most. And you know how it is when you're a little kid and it's holiday stuff. You just kind of go and graze and nobody sees you. They're not paying attention to you, are they? <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of fun memory. I didn't plan on saying that, but that was my gig. That's what I really, really liked. Okay, that doesn't really play out all the way to 45. Obviously, you kind of go, oh, that's probably not a good idea. So anyway, on the food plan, one of the things that helps is... First, not gonna be perfect, most likely, okay? I think it's worse to, how do you say it? Feel guilty over eating an Oreo than just go ahead and eat the Oreo and enjoy it, <laughs> okay? And that's all the time that I'm saying, I have a pretty strict food protocol for myself. I really, really work on it, and I try to get good stuff in constantly. But I do go, hey, this is what we're doing for um, a treat. And I know ultimately, if I was scientifically, um, how do you say, um, just analyzing it? Of course, it wouldn't technically be a treat physically. It's not that great for you. I'm talking about Oreo again now, okay? <laughs> don't know why that popped in my head. But ultimately, just don't, you know, kill yourself over, I ate this, oh my gosh, that's terrible. I'm a horrible person. I, I know people that do that, and I could do that. I think, I think anybody could do that, especially if you have goals and you're working on something. If you're working on you know, some kind of physical goals or weight goals, then of course, yeah, it's going to be hard. But that goes back to have a plan. That includes when you're going to eat something you know is not good for you. Just have a plan. I'm going to do this one thing at this so-and-so time, okay? And then you have the plan and try to follow the plan, okay? Again, Bible comes in here. If you don't, say, okay, God, totally missed it. Help me on that next time, okay? that's a good thing to do. Then you're still making a plan. And when you fall off the plan, you can go back to the plan. That's what's beautiful about a plan. Okay. Um, food in general, especially getting to the past or excuse me, the last six weeks of the year. Um, the general protocol is you want protein. Protein makes you uh, better able to resist the gross stuff because you're more satiated, of course. Um, healthy fats satiate you and healthy carbs give you energy. Okay, so those three things are a really important part of your diet. And um, when you major on those, you're not going to be as, um, um, you're not just going to be hungering for all the junk as much. Okay, number one thing that really gets us in a gross um, state during the holiday thing is junky carbs. Okay, so what do I mean by junky carbs? Um, I mean all the stuff that tastes good. <laughs> I mean donuts. I mean cinnamon rolls. I mean pie. I mean sugar. I mean, you know, white flour, da, 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 da. Okay. And it, it turns into the sluggish stuff in your gut. Hello, Hailey. I see you, Miss Shakespeare, and I am going to be writing you. Okay. Thank you for popping on. Um, I got your message. Okay. Um, the whole, um, the whole carb overload thing just sits in your gut, okay? And it doesn't move well. That's why you feel gross. You also feel gross because those things spike your glycemic index, not just keep it steady, okay, as it should be, little rise here and there, but bam, spikes, okay? If you're in the Western Hemisphere, we're terrible about this. That's probably our number one nemesis with um, the picture um, of health in this area of the world. We're terrible about the spikes in our glycemic index, and that's probably the worst thing we can do. Um, uh, you're very welcome, Hailey. We'll talk soon, okay? Um, that's what you need to plan for because it's addictive feeling and it does give you a burst of energy, okay? So again, all this to say, just a mom here, okay guys? I teach this stuff to my kids, um, I do homeschool them, and we talk tons about the whole health um, scene. We wanna stay healthy. Um, frankly, that's one of my financial plans as well, right? Because you'd rather do the preventive maintenance day to day, then pay for the big um, alarm bells going off in your immune system that you didn't work to um, prevent from the beginning. Um, here we go. I had a child call me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That happened to me on Instagram too. Um, so that's super important. Okay, we want to really, really watch that. The junky carbs are what gets you. Okay, so if you can keep your protein going, um, also keep a really um, 
nice, uh, large, maybe Yeti cup. I'm, I'm gonna say Yeti or stainless steel type cup. Walmart has the off brands that are just perfect. They work totally fine um, because I put oils in my water. Um, grapefruit is an excellent one. I have a friend that she and I do some oil things. We're in the same team of people. We work together. She does the grapefruit in her water all day long. Okay, it's very satiating and you know from the food, the actual grapefruit, it's um, good at the fat burning thing. Um, so that also helps with the choices with the junky carbs. Okay, and again, um, we're going to get into the emotion side here in just a minute, but remember, um, that's the thing that's probably going to be the toughest. So plan ahead. Um, if you love pecan pie. I'm thinking of my dad right now. He loves pecan pie or my, my husband as well. Um, you know, think ahead. Okay. When I'm at so-and-so's place on so-and-so day, I'm going to have one piece of that. And then you do, and then, okay, so go on and throw in your digies and your enzymes and um, keep your water going and just go on. And definitely don't sit there and feel bad about it, okay? Because you followed your plan. Then get back on your regular plan of the good stuff, right? You really can find lots of good stuff on the holiday scene that are gonna help satiate you and give you some good protein and make you full enough. Then comes in the self-discipline and the I don't wanna feel like, grossness after this is all over. You know what I'm saying? The three hour coma or whatever else happens to you. Um, a cool, cool, cool thing about our Thanksgiving is I have two sisters and we have uh, 19 cousins with the, us three girls. Okay. So fun. And one of the brothers-in-law works in a, um, a school setting. And so we're able to um, access a, a gym during part of that day, and it's so fun. As soon as people eat, they go play basketball, they go run around, they go um, hang out on a wrestling mat. It's just really fun. So that's probably a good piece of advice too. Plan your walk, plan something after, and you're just gonna feel better. You're gonna enjoy the day so much more, right? Okay, um, this next one. Okay, so this is kind of a controversial thing, and so I'm just gonna say that ahead of time. Please still love me, don't throw me any tomatoes on the comment thingy. Um, just something I love to throw out there. Um, be your own health detective, do your own research. And I'm talking about flu shot, okay? It is kind of controversial. It's definitely personal choice and personal decision. Um, just promise me you'll do some research. I am definitely, do not ever want to say, hey, you should do so-and-so. Um, but just go check it out, okay? Be willing to do some research that's not maybe the typical mainstream research. Um, and what I'm going to challenge you to do, just for fun, okay, regardless of what your, your view is, go look up the insert to the shot, okay? Just read the insert. That is my big challenge tonight on this, on this item on my list. Um, go see what it says. And, um, and while you're doing that, or after you've done that, just go read it. Um, you can Google it. Um, then think about what can I do to fortify my immune system, okay? Um, basically, it's a given. We're not only through this holiday stressful time, we're also in just the downtime weather-wise. It's usually colder weather, even if you're in warm weather. Um, the winter season tends to be tougher on our bodies um, for several reasons. All that to say, what are the things I can do to keep my machine, okay, so your body's kind of like a machine. It's it's not you, but it holds you. It's ca carrying you around. Um, what's the stuff I can do for this machine to work optimally, okay? Um, what are the things I do for my car? I don't put sugar in the gas tank. Um, I put the right kind of oil in my uh, engine. Um, I get regular, you know, updates on how it's looking and what it needs and I pay attention to it, right? I mean, we do that with our vehicles. Um, we'll do that with, let's say, our pets or our gardens. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. We're really, really good. Again, I'm talking Western Hemisphere. I think this is specifically where it happens a lot. We're good at maintaining things, but when we talk about maintaining our bodies, we're not so good at that sometimes. Uh, oh, hey, Angela, I'm so happy you're getting notes. That's so cool. That's sweet. Um, we're really, really good at maintaining things, but things aren't going to last, guys. Um, and our body, truthfully, is not either. It's just supposed to help us 
for maybe a hundred years to be here to fulfill our mission on the planet, right? Our planet time is predicated on staying in a body. We've got to keep our body here to stay here. God just set it up that way. We're not going to need a body when we're, in he when we're in heaven. That's going to be over. Our body's going to fall over. We're not going to be here. So while we're here, we want to finish our job, do our mission. That doesn't mean stuff won't come, though. That's what I was getting at with that item on the list. Basically, stuff is going to come. So what kind of state is our immune system in? Is it working optimally? And what's going to help it the most? What's going to help it work work optimally, such as a, you know, a finely tuned, really, really nice car? It's going to take that day-to-day -day maintenance. It can't be, um, okay, so I'm going to change the oil, like, you know, once every three years. <laughs> No, nobody's going to do that to their little, I don't know, what's a nice car, BMW or something. Nobody's going to do that. I mean, I hope because it's not going to last. It's not going to work. Okay. So anyway, I'm kind of being silly about it, but I just, I want you to be encouraged to just think, how can I be my own health detective? How can I invest in this human body I've been given that carries me around every day? to get the most optimum life, quality of life I can get out of it. That's what we want, right? Okay, so we're still talking physical, of course. We're talking about the physical body. We're gonna get into other stuff too. Um, and check that out, please, okay? Just go read the insert, just humor me, okay? And um, whatever you think, at least you're informed, right? You're educating yourself so you know what you're going to decide to do. You're not, you're not in fear about anything. You're just making it educated for important, okay? Um, next thing, another child called me, <laughs> um, get outside. Okay. This is a really, really big one. And this is big for me to say, because I do not like the cold. Um, tonight I had on my regular tennis shoes and they're very light because I, I walk in them. And so I want it to be super light, but that means if it's freezing cold, like it is in Western Oklahoma right now, my feet are freezing totally freezing. Nobody else is mentioning it. My kids just hardly even notice that it's freezing. Um, but I come in and first thing I do is look for those furry boot things I have. Okay. That have the, whatever it is on the inside. Oh my gosh. It feels so much better. All that to say, you've got to get outside when we're in, especially this last six weeks of the year. Um, sunshine is your friend. Okay. It is my friend. It is vitamin D all day long. You need it. It affects how you think. Um, it affects how you feel. It affects your emotions. Um, it is a really big game changer. In fact, vitamin D3, is um, it functions as a mineral in your body. Um, super, super important, which means helps move your lymph. Okay, that's the mineral side of things. Very, very important. You can also supplement the mineral side, which I forgot to mention up there, with something called a detox bath. If you don't know what that is, message me, okay? That's a big deal. Very, very important mineral supplementation of your body. So important, especially during the winter, especially during these last few weeks with all the other stuff, okay? Um, sunshine, super important. Getting out, I try to do my walking even if it's freezing cold. And that's something that I've kind of come into the last few years because I've read and researched and kind of just believe that it's really not that great that we're in a house breathing that same um, suffocating type air. You know, windows aren't open. Um, Natalie, I will send you the detox bath MO, okay? Um, thank you for asking. Um, we breathe that same air in our home all day long. We don't get out. We don't breathe something differently. Um, and it's darker. Um, it's just harder. You need to get out, get your, get your head up, your eyes up on the horizon, um, move your body, just walk, just walk, just really, really good brisk walking. I love, love, love that. That is a lifesaver for me. It is one of my favorite things to do. It's also kind of the whole, um, God time, spiritual stuff, worship music, whatever you want to do, throw it all in. It's so, so important. Um, one person you can read, this is again physical stuff, that's so, so good when it comes to the walk. Hey, did you just call me? <laughs> okay, just a second. Are you, are you almost there? Okay, it's Benjamin. Um, 
Her name is Katie Bowman. I highly recommend her research. She is a biomechanist. She is an amazing, intelligent, beautiful lady, okay? You can find her on Facebook, Instagram. Wrote tons of books so far. Really, really good stuff, okay? If you are having things go on that are tough when it comes to your alignment, which that's a whole other thing I didn't plan on talking about, but that can affect especially women and things like um, prolapse, organ prolapse. Um, super important stuff, okay? If you want to know about that, PM me too, okay? Okay, from there, now emotions, okay? So, really guys, why? Why do we do this to ourselves? the last six weeks of the year? Two major holidays. I mentioned this at the beginning. Two major holidays um, within four to six weeks of each other. And then, again, um, we're going to be at family, family functions um, where, again, maybe we will see people we don't normally see for 12 months. Now, again, I say that tongue-in-cheek. I'm kind of teasing, okay? I love to see my family, and we actually see each other lots of times all throughout the year. But sometimes, being real, right, sometimes it's not as easy. Um, sometimes it's Truthfully, it's um, it's hard with grief. Sometimes we're missing someone that's not there. Um, it can really do a number on us emotionally, okay? Um, so part of the plan, um, when we um, fail to plan, we can plan to fail, mentioned at the beginning. Um, we have to have a plan emotionally, okay? We talked about the food plan, and we talked about some of the physical stuff, but the emotional plan. How do we do that? Well, I try to do some things ahead of time where I write things down um, and I start praying about get-togethers I know I'm going to be going to. Um, I try to anticipate some of the things that could come up. Um, again, it's really fun and not surprising when science um, basically says what the Bible already tells us, and that's a theme in a lot of the things that I talk about. Um, my personal page on Facebook, that's kind of a new thing for me. Mom and Monday is a new thing for me, but for the community I work with for my business, um, I do this quite a bit, and I want to say it's a game changer. It has been for me, and I know it will be for you. Your emotional health is the absolute first most important thing in your physical health that you can ever attend to, Okay. It is the most important thing ever. And <clears throat> though it probably isn't supposed to, and that's fine, you really can't address that through basic allopathic medicine. Um, you have to dig a little deeper. And that is exactly why I mentioned again, um, God already had this figured out, okay? When he says we're not supposed to worry, when he says we don't want to be unforgiving, we can't carry around bitterness, um, there's a reason for that, right? Right? We aren't designed to carry that stuff, guys and girls. We're not made as humans to carry that stuff. Shame, guilt, um, the list goes on and on. Those are called toxic emotions, and we are not made to carry them. We're not made to do it. That's why eventually when that stuff is going on emotionally, it can actually be reflected in our physical body. And guys, our physical body is not doing it on its own. If, if we're not in our physical body if we're gone, our physical body is toast. If I leave right now, my body is falling over and this video is over, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Anything going on in my body, whatever it could be, it's over. It's not going on anymore because I'm not in it, okay? Um, so super, super important. Please, 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 please take a few minutes this next six weeks, especially this week, as we begin, I'd say this is the countdown for the year. This is a countdown for the holiday celebration season. Take some time before Thursday or before when you do your next thing and sit down and say, okay, God, help me be prepared. Help me have a plan emotionally for how I should feel, how I should respond, what I should be grateful for, what I should look for, um, how I should imagine where um, Aunt Ruth might be um, emotionally what she might have gone through instead of feeling critical. Um, how can I think about um, great grandma so-and-so and, -so and um, what she's been through in her life and how it's affected her outlook? How can I have compassion for her? You see where I'm going? Talk yourself through where you're going to be. Talk yourself through ahead of time. 
What am I gonna be thinking? What am I gonna be feeling? How is it gonna be hard for me? And then hop over in the other people's shoes. Now, let me say something else. When I'm on this video, you guys, I'm talking to myself, okay? And there's no other way to be on here. I couldn't do it because I would feel like a total hypocrite. I cannot get on here and say, oh yeah, I got that. Totally got that. No, I'm on here because I need this. And I hope that you'll know that. That is the only reason I could do this, okay? It's simply to say, hey, you know what? I'm a wife. I'm a mom of 13. I am a female. I am a, a business owner. I am a homeschool mom. I am the things I am. Um, and I have trouble with X, Y, Z. Okay. This thing is hard for me or this thing is hard for me. And so I'm going to talk about it because guess what? I bet it might be hard for you. And if it's not, maybe it's hard for your wife. Maybe it's hard for your husband and they need you to understand them better. Who knows? So part of my MO when we get into this last part of the year and we do this family friend holiday thingy, it's not bad. It's it, it, it's just bad if it derails us and we are toast for the rest of the year or we feel heavy or we kind of get into the emotional eating train and we put on you know five or 10 pounds from it. Um, and that just isn't physical again, it's the emotional pounds. It's the emotional baggage that is just as heavy, right? Um, I can't remember. I think I said this on Instagram. I'm there at nine, but I'm not sure I mentioned her yet. But look up Dr. Caroline Leaf, okay? She's a neurophysicist. She's a brain specialist. And she's a South African woman. She's a beautiful, intelligent, lovely lady. Quote from some of her research, 75 to 98% of everything that happens in your physical body has an emotional root, Okay? I think if you've watched any of my stuff before, I probably already quoted this. Um, I say it a lot. Um, 75 to 98%, guys, that's heavy. That's super big. That's a lot. Um, a great book about toxic emotions is written by um, Dr. Uh, Don Colbert, another believer, amazing man. It's just called Toxic Emotions. I highly recommend that. Superb um, info and research, okay? Um, all that to say, again, the Bible's never wrong. Science just is, you know, confirming it. Um, make a plan for what you want to do emotionally and how you want to, how you want to go out. You know what I mean? We're going to go out of 2018. We're going to go in to 2019. How do you want to go out? Okay. How do you want to go out physically, emotionally, and then of course, spiritually. And spiritually is the main reason we're here, why we're doing it and why we should care. Right? So my last little bullet point, guys is something called sit back and be entertained, okay? That's a little saying I have from a really sweet friend, Mr. Matt Davis. I don't know if he'll be on here and see this, but he told me that many years ago. We have been friends with he and his wife for almost 20 years, and that was excellent uh, <laughs> advice. Oh, Warren, you totally made my night. Please hug Merlin for me, please. And your girls, oh my gosh, you made my day. Thanks so much. Um, so sit back and be entertained. Again, I'm saying it to be kind of funny and tongue in cheek. Sometimes when you just don't take everything so seriously, it's just a lot better. And holy cow, am I talking to myself, guys. I am the firstborn. I am type A. Hello, I'm talking to me. If my two sisters on here, they're going to go, yeah, that's exactly what you should do, Jennifer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am serious. Things are serious. Life is serious. Um, my choices are serious. It is, you know, yes, no, who's in charge, and there's right and wrong, and da 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 da. Okay, so that's me. So I believe me, I'm talking to myself. Get to the point, talking to Jennifer, sit back and be entertained. Okay, so think of the thing that's hard for you maybe in this next six weeks. Um, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Hugs to all of you guys. Miss you guys so much. Um, just go, hey, how can I look at this as entertainment? You know, when you don't know people and you see something on the street or my kids love watching America's Funniest Home Videos. Um, when you see something on YouTube or you watch a movie, um, I can think of a couple. Um, 
Elf is one of my very favorite movies ever. It's just dumb, but it's just so funny. Uh, when it's not you, it's funny. When it's not your family, it's hilarious, right? When it's your family and you're trying to get through it yourself, then it's not so funny, is it? It's so much harder. Well, just keep that in your brain this time, in the next week for Thanksgiving, and then, of course, for Christmas and finishing out the year and the parties and the stuff to do and the stuff to pack and the stuff to put up and all the stuff, 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 okay? Just take it a little bit lighter. Don't take it so seriously. And we can do that because you know what, guys? When this thing is over, nobody's going to care, okay? When the ship goes down on this planet, nobody's going to care about all this stuff. What's really going to matter is, you know what? I know God. I know Jesus. I'm safe and secure in the ark and... God is going to take care of me. I'm going to do all the natural I can do while I'm here for the time I'm here for the mission I have. And God is going to take care of the rest. Okay. The name of the book I shared. Okay. I will remember to do that and I will post it on here, Warren. Okay. Um, think that in your mind, think that in your heart. What is this really all about? Why do we care? What are we doing? What are we talking about? Okay. If it all ends tomorrow, Hello, Miss Jackie. I'm so excited you're getting pie tomorrow. I'm going to message all of you guys tonight, okay? Um, when is, you know, it really going to be that important, whether you had certain kind of something on your tree or you had this and this gift or you had this and this happen to your turkey? No, nobody's going to care, you know? It's, it's just like, okay, we're all in an airplane together, okay? Um, let's say and we're not in this situation, obviously, and it does happen, so I'm not making light of it, but let's say the plane is going towards the earth and it's not staying in a flying pattern. What's the first thing all of us are going to do in that plane? We're going to say, God, help me. God, we're going to look up and we're going to put our hand up. We're going to say, God, help me. Okay? When you keep that mindset and you go, you know what? If Aunt Ruth does so-and-so or Uncle Joe does so-and-so, who cares? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to actually carry the care, okay? And that's what I mean by who cares. I don't mean in a ugly way. I mean, I'm just going to carry the care. I'm going to cast all my cares on him, okay? Care is heavy. It's a toxic emotion too, referring to those again. That's that's something that's heavy. We don't want to do that. We cast our cares like an excellent um, fly fisherman. Just throw that baby out there to God's hands. We do the natural, God does the super, and we keep on stepping, okay? My hope and my prayer for you for the next few weeks, and of course, I'll see you back here, Mama Monday, 9 p.m. on Facebook, actually 9.30 p.m. next Monday, but my prayer, my hope, my blessing to you for the next few weeks, from me, um, from Lorenzo, from our 13 babies, and my son-in-law, and my grandbaby, from all of us, is... Hey, Benjamin, that we have, um, all of us, an amazing last few weeks that we go out with a bang, we go out with love, we go out with prayer, go into 2019 with anticipation and gratefulness, gratitude, all the different things that we have that we're so blessed with. That's my prayer and my hope for all of you. I am pretty positive I totally went past my time, so forgive me. Next Monday... 9.30 here on Facebook, Western Oklahoma time. Can't wait to see you. Hope you have an amazing week. Happy Thanksgiving. Here's my 12-year-old Benjamin 13. that popped in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just turned 13. So sorry, bud. You're an amazing 13-year-old. <clears throat> Blessings to you guys. We'll see you next Monday, and thanks again. Bye, guys. <laughs>